Hey there, welcome to this week's edition of The Forum. I'm Mark Willard from ESPN LA 710 Radio. This, of course, Arash Markazi. You read all of his stuff on ESPNLA.com. All right, Arash, the Lakers uh, had that great first night against the Clippers, and it's been a bumpy ride pretty much since then. If not for a nice little Steve Blake jumper in Houston, <laughs> it, it could be even worse. So the question is this, Kobe Bryant, who still refuses to give any sort of a timetable uh, for his return, what, is, what does this do for you when you look at the way the Lakers are playing if you're him? In other words, do you have the emotion of, I'm going to put a cape on and go save these guys? Or do you look at it and say, why am I rushing back for this? Which, yeah. which well, do you I think, think comes I, up? I think Kobe realizes this is not a championship team, but I do think he realizes that he only has a few more years to play, and this would be one of those years. And he wants to score more points. I don't think he wants to pass Kareem for the, the, the all-time points, but he wants to pass Michael Jordan. And, uh, and I don't think he's going to quit on the team. I don't think he's not going to play this season, but I do think he's going to come back. And we're, I think if you thought Kobe shot a lot before, <laughs> get ready for Kobe going for 40 points a night, Kobe. Uh, well, you know? I mean, although you, you, seemingly you'd want to take some, some of the physicality away sure. and him being out there with high minutes and high shots, that's, that's, yeah. that's more pressure on the foot. Uh, realistically, with the Lakers, this is what they're looking at. I mean, the Western Conference, as we know, is extremely difficult. Seven of the eight top records in the NBA, Western side. Uh, the top nine Western Conference teams are playing at a great clip. Uh, why do we show all this? Because this is what the Lakers are, are facing in terms of trying to make the playoffs. Now, you said that you think Kobe realizes it's not a championship squad. Yeah, I, I don't think he's <laughs> totally lost on that. But he's also always said any team I'm on is a contender to do some things. So it does become a different story for that team if he comes back and plays well. Uh, but if I'm Kobe, and I'm not, <laughs> but if I'm Kobe, I'm sitting here looking at this and going, hey, if I've got any thoughts of a championship left, you know, you mentioned the scoring thing. Yeah. But I think he is so singularly oh, focused sure. on championships. Yeah. And if you want to win championships, the best way to do that, preserve yourself. Preserve yourself for another year when you actually have a shot. Well, when you talk about preserving yourself, I do think that now he's going to take his time coming back. I don't think he's going to take the entire season off, but I do think he's going to. So I think if there was some thought of him coming back in October or November, that's obviously not going to happen. I think he's probably looking at Christmas, January, at some point towards the end of the season. But he will come back at some point, um, but he will take his time. But I do think when he does come back, you're not going to see a Kobe who's more of a team first guy and he's trying to appease <laughs> Dwight Howard and Powell and whatnot. I think he's just going to take the ball and shoot a ton. I don't think anybody's got a problem with that no, right now with what, the, with what the other options yeah. are. And now, I, I mean, I agree with you. I don't think that, that the idea has even crossed his mind of sitting the entire year out. Uh, but, but the point is this. If you, if you look at this group of guys, I would sit there and say, and I don't know if he's got a date in his mind or not, but I would sit there and say, listen, um, I am going to make sure that I am 100% yeah. certain that every piece of my body is ready to go. Uh, I just don't. I, I don't see the the need to yeah. race. And, and it seems like maybe he was already of that uh, that that mindset anyway. That, but I, I got to think in watching this team that the emotion that goes into him is, hey, well, there, that's, there's there's no point. That's the one surprising thing. Not surprising so much but I, I did think he would come back a little bit too soon I think he thought he wanted to come back at the beginning of the season or sometime soon he has taken his time and I do think he realizes with Steve Nash being hurt and Pau Gasol quite not there I think he does see listen there's no need for me to rush back to this team this is not a championship team but I do think he'll, he'll come back at some point but you're right he's not going to come back until he's a hundred percent you and I both sound like we think Kobe's completely rational about this and he's never <laughs> rational about he's basketball. Done. So why why do we think that? But now? he has taken his time. I mean, he's yeah. he, he 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 can shoot, he can run, he can sprint, he can yeah. do all these things, but he hasn't returned yet. Might be mental. I talked sure. to I talked to Dr. Clapper, who we there talk we to or ESPN LA all the time, and he said, think about it. When you're a guy who relies on your body for your life, and and you have a non-contact injury, yeah. in other words, your body just failed you. 
uh, that there's a big mental hurdle to overcome. That I might love, be where he's at right now. I love Clapper, but he and I were the one, the two guys who said, Kobe Bryant, first game of the season is going to be totally be back. He'll be totally <laughs> in the starting lineup. We've been totally wrong there. But um, I he, said November 15th. I'm, I'm not looking I don't think good so either. either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, doesn't look good. All right. Uh, that's Arash Markazi. I'm Mark Willard. That's all for this week's edition of The Forum.